welcome. This video is not about locks, it's about something completely different. I will show you how I make bread. And we are making bread since more than 10 years now, every 3 or 4 weeks. To make good bread you actually only need to have water and flour, salt and sourdough. Uh, the sourdough you can make by yourself and we did it 10 years ago and every time you make bread um, you increase the amount of sourdough before and take away a little bit and put it in the refrigerator for the next time you make bread. So once you have your sourdough you can uh, reuse it every time you make uh, bread. So sourdough is very important because it contains the sour component which is uh, necessary if you make bread from rye, which we will do, and it also contains the yeast, which causes uh, the actual volume um, of the bread. Yeah, we are making the bread from rye and spelt, full grain, and before I uh, go downstairs with you to the kitchen and show you the process. I'll give you a quick overview about how to, um, yeah, how to um, increase the uh, amount of sourdough. So first, I will pull out the sourdough from the refrigerator. So the, the the reminder from the last time, and I will add water and flour, and I will put it in the oven. And um, yeah, turn on the light, which will cause a temperature of about 42 degrees Celsius. Then overnight, uh, on the next day, um, I will pull it out and add water and flour again, put it back in the oven, but I will switch off the light so the temperature will decrease to about 23 degrees Celsius. Then after about 4 to 8 hours, so this will be about 8 hours, after 4 to 8 hours, around noon, um, I will pull it out again, add again water and flour, but this time I will go downstairs where the temperature is about 18 degrees Celsius. And after another four to eight hours, so late evening, I will, or evening, I will, uh, I will get it uh, back to the kitchen, and then I have a nice amount of sour of sourdough, which will be sufficient for uh, making the actual bread. And here I will add water and flour and salt and some other things which will then uh, make up the actual dough and this will be put in baking cans and go in the oven and then the bread is yeah is completed. Um, oh yeah, before I um, mix everything together of course I will take away a little bit of the sourdough for the next time I'll make bread and it will again go into the uh, refrigerator. So, now uh, let's go downstairs to the kitchen and start. So, it's Friday night and we start. I just fetched the two glasses with sourdough from the refrigerator and I have two because I always make twice the amount from the recipe. Uh, if you look, you can see that there are nice bubbles which means that the yeast in the sourdough, so the natural yeast, uh, is still very active, so that's good. And sourdough actually consists of uh, two components. One is yeast, gives the bread a, a good volume, and the other is uh, our acid bacteria, which are necessary if you make uh, bread from, uh, from rye. Alright, so let's start. Um, I'll show you the process uh, from one glass. Huh. All right, so uh, first put it in the, in the bowl. 
Then I need to add about 200 gram of water and flour. Turn on the scale. And it's approximately, so it's not, uh, you need not to be very exact. And tear, so 200 gram. And it's um, also um, rye flour, because I've experienced that with rye flour, um, the sourdough develops uh, nicer. And the whole process of uh, increasing the amount of sourdough with a decreasing temperature is because of the two components. So the acid bacteria and uh, yeast, they develop uh, nicely in a yeah, in their desired environment and therefore the decreasing temperature is uh, necessary. So, that's it. Um, just mix it like that and then close it because uh, it would else, um, else it would lo um, lose um, water if I don't uh, cover it, and then it goes in the oven. Alright, let's put it in the oven. First I turn on the light. Number one. Number two. And I show you how it looks like currently, so that we can compare it to the state of the sourdough tomorrow. Bye bye, see you again tomorrow. So, good morning. It's uh, 7 o'clock on another day, and let's see how the sourdough has developed. Before I check the temperature, I have a little thermometer uh, based on infrared. I can check. So you can see the temperature is about uh, 41 degrees Celsius. But the temperature of the sourdough itself is a little bit less. So it's uh, 33 degrees Celsius. That's okay. You can see it has nicely increased in volume with many many bubbles. So now I will add again 200 milliliter of water and 200 gram of uh, flour and then it will go back in the oven uh, but I will turn off the light. See you again later. So it's about eight hours later and I've already looked at the dough. So here you can see it has nicely increased in volume. There's the uh, other bowl. You can see all the all the bubbles here. Very nice. Yeah, I will again add water and flour and then it will go downstairs in the cellar for the final uh, development phase or development stage at about 18 degree Celsius and in between I will prepare all the other uh, components that will go in the dough and um, I want to have uh, linseed as well in the, in the dough and every time you add dry components uh, to the dough you need to make sure that it does not dry out the dough so I will add the same, about the same amount of water and mix it and let it sit for yeah, let's say four hours and yeah then it's ready to go in the dough 
And yeah, I will prepare all the other ingredients that uh, are needed for the final dough. And yeah, then we will see how that goes. So here's the mixture of water and linseed. Um, I poured the water above the linseed uh, a few minutes ago and you see it has already started eating up the water. So that works nicely. Next I will prepare the remaining flour for the bread. And we have a mill where we can get the full grain. So one sack, uh, the right uh, sack is, um, is rye and the left sack is uh, spelt. You can uh, see the difference in the color. So this is rye. And here we have uh, spelt. Take both for a direct uh, comparison. Yeah, I will um, measure the right amount required for the for the bread, and then I will mill it by myself and uh, get together the other components that I need. So the mill is ready. Here is uh, 920 gram of uh, grain. Put it in the mill. Let's start. So, almost done. Let's have a look inside. All right. The dough and the flour is done. And next will be the spices. So the flour is done. We have 920 gram for each recipe. Um, the linseed has nicely eaten up all the water. So now let's move on. Of course we need salt. Uh, 33 uh, gram per recipe. Next will be a uh, caraway. I have it here. I'll show you this in my hand. Of course, you know what it is. Maybe I have pronounced it incorrectly. Caraway. So I will grind it. One half for one recipe, the other half for the other recipe. All right. And then I have uh, coriander. Looks like this. It's already grinded. So one half here and the other half here. Everyone gets the same. Then I'll mix it. So it's. Um, very useful to mix all the dry components and then put the water in. Yeah, the water, we need uh, 700 milliliter of uh, water per recipe. I already measured the amount here for one recipe and 700 milliliters for the other. And everyone gets half of the linseed mixture. just have to wait for the sourdough to be ready and then I'll move on.
Here in the cool cellar the sourdough has developed for the last four hours and I've taken along my infrared thermometer and the surrounding temperature is about 7, uh, 19 uh, or more 20 degree. I guess the dough, sourdough itself is a little bit warmer. Yeah, it's 21, but that's fine. Has developed nicely, increased in volume and uh, is very stable. It smells nice, uh, sour and uh, fruity, I would say. Yeah, let's go upstairs to the kitchen and uh, complete the dough. So, back in the kitchen, here are the parts for one recipe. That's the mixture from before, the flour, water and spices. And you can see it has taken most of the water and it's not as, as soft anymore as before. You can see it's very uh, stable. And here we have the sourdough from the cellar. It's also very nicely developed. Uh, when we have a look at the uh, structure, you can see it is uh, also very stable and mm, smells uh, sour and uh, fruity actually. Mm, mm, tastes very good. So I will mix it together. Mm, very sour. Oh, I forgot to mention that I've already taken away uh, 200 milligram of the sourdough uh, for the next time I make that. So then I'll mix the final dough. And because the sourdough is a mixture of uh, flour and water one by one, and the other mixture with the spices is a little bit um, uh, has less water, so the combination of both is actually the right uh, relation between um, water and flour. And in general, you have um, more water in the dough for full grain um, for full grain dough. That's because uh, full grain can uh, can take more water uh, as um, yeah if you don't have full grain. But, um, as a consequence, the dough is a little bit softer and that's why you normally don't have um, the, the bread. Um, you cannot uh, do the bread just in the, in the oven. You'll have to have a, a baking uh, pan for it. So, so both doughs are mixed very well. And you actually cannot really knead um, full grain dough because it's so soft. But that's okay, I'll leave it as it is and I'll fill it in the, in the baking pans. I have to measure it because I want to equally distribute the dough and it's about 1040 gram for each baking pan. six baking pans are filled. I will now um, smooth the, the surface and uh, put sunflower uh, grains on, onto it. It looks nice and tastes good. All right.
All the six baking pans are in the oven and I turn on the heat at about 45 degrees Celsius. Um, I cannot really tell the exact temperature, but the idea is to let the, um, uh, the bread dough um, stay there for about uh, 30 minutes so that it can uh, develop further and uh, grow. And important is that the temperature is um, below 42 degrees Celsius, else the yeast would be destroyed. So, based on experience, the, the setting here just below 50 degrees Celsius um, is the right value. Alright, after 30 minutes I'll be back, uh, get it out of the oven and turn on the heat to a maximum and then actually uh, the bread will be uh, bacon. So the baking pans are out of the oven again. They have completed their expansion and have uh, nicely grown. Um, I already heated up the oven to about uh, 250 degrees Celsius. The baking pans uh, will go in the oven now for about 20 minutes at 250 degrees Celsius and afterwards I will decrease the temperature to about uh, 200 degrees Celsius and then I will stay there for another 40 minutes. Yeah, and then it's done. So, hold on. So, the time is over and the bread is hopefully done. Turn off the oven. So, let's see how it looks like. Oh, very nice. It's nicely grown. Comes out of the baking pans easily. It's a nice brown color on the bottom. Zoom in and give you a nice view to the final result. So that's how it looks like. It smells great. So I will let it uh, cool down and then we will have a look inside. Alright, so the bread has cooled down. Uh, very nice uh, result. Um, you can see from the color and, from, and can hear from the sound that it's uh, well done and of course I want to test it so I have the right tool uh, to open it. So let's see how it looks inside. Let's cut the bread. Can you see that? Very nice. Alright, so that was uh, another cooking video about how to make bread just from water, flour and sourdough. I hope you have enjoyed uh, watching me uh, working in the kitchen again and uh, thanks for watching. Happy picking, baking and cooking. Bye bye! And it tastes so good just with butter, salt and chives. Mmm.